Hello, I'm 8mm Mauserman, and in this video we are going to be talking about a modification that you can do to an A2 or a detachable carry handle, but we're going to be demonstrating it on the A2 to make it so that you can use the smaller aperture within 300 meters. Now, the way that this rifle is supposed to be zeroed is that you flip it to the smaller aperture, zero it at 300 meters, and then after you zero it at 300 meters, uh, you can flip that down if you want to be shooting within that 300 meters, or you can just adjust accordingly a little bit. However, I want to set this rifle up with a 5200 yard zero, because that is, I think, the best combat zero. Uh, this is also called the revised improved battle sight zero, and it's a pretty easy modification. In fact, the only tool you're going to need is a 1 16th Allen wrench, and honestly, the hardest part of this modification for me is going to be recording it on the camera for you guys. Now, what we need to be able to do is turn this knob backwards, basically set it to a negative position. This detachable carry handle had this modification when I bought it, and so you can see what that looks like. For the detachable carry handles, you need to be able to go six positions into the negative for a 100 yard zero, and four positions into the negative for a 50 yard zero. I'm sorry, I keep saying yards, what I really mean is meters. Now, you can see that this one does let you go six clicks backwards, so you can use that 100 meter zero if you so desire. However, with the A2 sights, because they're a little bit different, you only need to be able to go three clicks backwards for a 100 meter zero, but we're actually gonna click it back four and we'll talk about why in just a little bit. It's only two clicks backwards for that 50 200 meter zero. Also, since we're messing with the elevation of the rear sight, after, if you do this, you will need to re-zero your front sight afterwards, and that's just the way it is. Now let's actually get into it, and this is a really simple modification, just five steps. The first is make sure it's unloaded, and this carbine is. All right, now, because it's unloaded, we are going to start, and you need to make sure that it is at the 8-3 uh, position, and you need to make sure that the short range, um, excuse me, the smaller aperture is flipped up. So take your 1 16th Allen wrench and stick it down inside of this hole. Then you need to loosen the set screw that is in there. Now you don't want to remove it all the way. You just want to loosen it. So I'm going to do that, get it unclicked, and I'm going to spin it a few times. I want this to be able to spin freely, but I don't need to loosen it all the way. All right. Now, this may uh, not be quite understandable, but this wheel is actually two wheels. It's not just one. So because it is two wheels, not just one, we are going to rotate the bottom wheel four clicks clockwise. Clockwise looking from the top. So four clicks, righty tighty lefty loosey to the right. I'm going to do it from this angle so that you guys can see it a little better. And I need to make sure that this Allen key and that the top wheel stays in place. One, two, three, four. Now, the reason I'm doing four clicks when I only need three is that this will present, prevent the rear sight from bottoming out. The danger, as I read online with it bottoming out, is that you will lose some accuracy because you can click it slightly past and get it stuck in that position. Not stuck like you can't get it unstuck, but just that it can feel like it is in the place where it's supposed to be. And when you do that, it will not be quite as accurate as if you just had it in the actual position it is supposed to be in. So the extra click is just an extra little space for a margin of error. Okay, so after you have done that, you need to come back up here and you need to retighten the set screw. And I'll have it this way so you can see me doing that. And you just keep on spinning. Okay, there we go. That's where it's hit tight. So I'm just going to make sure that it is tight, spin a little more. Don't want to break this thing off in there, but I do want to make sure that that set screw is nice and tight because the rear sight is very important to the rifle. Now, the last thing you need to do, I'm not going to do on video, and that is re-zero the rifle. If you did this modification, what will happen is, is at 300 meters, your uh, sight piece right here is going to be higher because you can go backwards into the other zero positions. So you're still going to zero it at 300 meters, and then when you click it three spaces down like that, you are going to be at a 100 meter zero. But if you are at your 300 meter zero and you click it two positions down, you will be at your 50 meter zero. So you still zero it at 300 meters 
like this. But when you are done, it will rest right here at a 50, 200 meter zero. This modification is the exact same for a detachable carry handle. The only difference is that with the A2, we clicked it four positions over. With the detachable carry handle, we will position, click it eight positions over. So there will be two extra positions to make sure that the rear sight piece right here does not bottom out on the carry handle itself. Now, if you found this video helpful, please leave me a comment down below. I love reading your comments and I try to respond to every single one. Now, I set up a revised improved battle sight zero on my A2 upper, but I lived on. Which proves it's hard to get the best of a man named John. Game John. Game John.